Hey everyone, we're rolling out our third highlight holes video here with Big Sky Golf Club in Pemberton, BC. So it's a top 25 course in Canada and is known for its immaculate course conditions. It is in a very lush landscape. You also want to watch out for the water. There is a ton of water at this golf course and as a result, it definitely rewards tee to green ball striking, especially on your approach shots. Many of the greens have water tight around them, so you want to be accurate with those second or third shots. And playability with this course has wide fairways for the most part, flat greens, minimal elevation changes, various tee options. In my opinion, that lends itself well for golfers of most skill levels. That being said, it can be very tricky with the amount of water throughout the course endless views of the coastal mountains all around. Even without the views, I would still consider this to be a top tier course, but the views are just a cherry on top. We're gonna kick it off here with hole number four. It's a par five, the one cap on the course. Ranges from 450 up to 600 yards. You've got three segments of fairway split by a creek that runs the entire length of the hole. And this requires very carefully placed shots to stay out of trouble. You're approximately 270 yards from the blue tees to that first creek, which means you, you've got a fairly easy layup shot or a challenging carry if you wanna go for it. Recommended play in my mind is to hit a 250 shot ball followed by about a 200 yard shot to bypass the middle segment. The last segment of fairway is very large, so you've got a lot of room to work with there. And that's gonna give you about a 50 to 120 yard shot into the green. It's actually a sneaky difficult green as well. It's fairly narrow and it has a false front and the green slopes down towards that false front where the creek is. So lots of things to consider here, but just an absolutely stunning golf hole. Next, we're actually gonna skip onto the back nine at hole number 11. It's a par three, ranges from 100 to 160 yards. One of the easier holes, you really want to watch the pin placement on this hole. If it's tucked in the back left corner and you get caught pin seeking, there's a good chance you're gonna end up swimming. We were fortunate enough when we played to have a fairly easy pin. Here we've got hole 12, it's a par four, the two cap, so another very difficult hole, ranges from 325 up to 434 yards. It has a creek that runs up the entire length of the hole and actually leads to a split fairway. My take on this hole is any golfer should really just be hitting down the right hand side fairway. Although it leaves a slightly trickier second shot, it's a much safer play. If you do go for the left fairway, you have to be a long hitter carrying over 270 yards and it's not gonna set you up that much better and it's also a blind shot. So I'm just not sure the risk is worth the reward in that case. As you can see, the green is once again lined by water. So if you go short, you'll likely be in the creek. And if you go long, there is a bit of a drop off behind the green, making for a difficult up and down. It's also one of the rare undulating greens here at Big Sky. So it just adds another layer of difficulty onto this already challenging hole. Up next, we got hole 16. It's a par four. Distances range from 286 up to 405 yards, depending on what tees you're playing. It is the four cap and is, in my opinion, the hardest hole in the course, especially for right-handed players. It's got a tight fairway that actually gets more and more narrow as the hole progresses. And it sweeps left to right and wraps around the whole pond, which is very tight to the fairway as well. The green is slightly elevated and water wraps around 75% of it, so it's just a super hard second shot there and I'd venture to guess that the vast majority of players are landing short and left with their second shots I know that's what I did the good thing with that is you still have a reasonably easy uh, chip to ideally go up and down so hole 18 is a par 5 and it's the 10 cap on the course in my opinion you just couldn't ask for a better finishing hole it ranges from 405 up to 546 yards it's a fairly wide fairway off the tee and has some narrower sections once again with water all down the right hand side and fescue on the left. It is reachable in two, but you really need to watch out for the creek at the front of the green, followed by a wraparound bunker that covers the, most of the green. And so if you don't clear that, you're either gonna be in the hazard or in the bunker. If you do clear it, there's a good chance you'll be putting depending on what club you hit. Or if you go a little bit long, that's not too bad because you should have a fairly easy up and down, uh, not too difficult to chips in there. And let's not forget about that stunning view of the valley beyond the clubhouse there. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and let me know what course you want to see highlighted next.